Please support The Bar by like, subscribe, and sharing my casts. Follow my social media at Facebook, Instagram, Gab, Parlor, BitChute, YouTube, DLive, Twitch, CloudHub, and Rumble. Or join my subscribe star. Make a donation by clicking on the links on the description box. I am a listener-supported show, so any of the above is greatly appreciated. Help me grow and spread the truth since the mainstream media obviously does not want to support truth. All links are listed on the description box. God bless you and enjoy. Welcome to the Speak Uneasy, a safe space where cancel culture does not exist because we are in a different prohibition era. Good morning and welcome to a special episode of the Speak Uneasy with me, the bartender. This morning, today's random read will come from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 14 through 16. A great high priest. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Once again, this random read has come from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 14 through 16, a great high priest. Now, Prior to me going on the air, I pick these random reads and I read them just so I can get a good understanding of what I think the message is, okay? And like I said before, the messages could be bad news or they could be good news or I'm going I'm 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 in trying to interpret this the way I see it. People may see it in a different way when they hear this. They may apply it to what's going on in their life or what's going on in the world as far as current events. Now, it took me a while to figure this one out. I mean, to to try to interpret what I think God is trying to tell me. Okay? So, we all know that Jesus, as he walked the earth in Jerusalem and all and, and everywhere that he went... He was known to be a teacher, a priest, okay, a rabbi. And um and the way I interpret this is that he was of flesh and he walked the earth of flesh and he went through the same things that we all go through in our lives. Okay? We all face sin, we all face temptation, but we always fall, we always, us, we always fall short of being righteous because that's just in human nature, right? Um, I'm not saying that it's the right thing, but I'm just saying that we all fall, we all fall short because that's how we are, that's how we are as people. Well, Jesus was a very special, um, he was a very special case because he was God's son. I mean, he's still God's son. (laughs) Let me correct that. He's God's son, right? So, although he walked the earth as flesh and blood, he did not have sin. Okay? Um... It says here, let us hold our profession. Okay, that's the part that kind of confused me. I was thinking profession. Does that mean work? But when I thought about it again, profession means, also means like our 
our judgment, or I think it means our judgment of things, right? How we profess things, how we judge things, how we think things are. So it was when when I was reading this, it hold uh, hold let us hold fast our profession means don't be quick to judge until you see for yourself, right? And the next part says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. So we don't have anybody in this world right now. It doesn't matter if you're a preacher. It doesn't matter if you're a, if you're a pastor. It doesn't matter if you're a priest, pope, whatever. Right? You're still going to face the same infirmities we do as human beings, which is temptation and sin. Okay? And then the next part says here, but was in all points tempted like as we are. So, like I said earlier, as Jesus walked the earth as flesh and blood, he was tempted, but he he never fell to sin. He never fell into sin. He always made the right decisions, even with temptation, especially when he was out in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, right? yet without sin that's that's the, that's the last part of that of that particular um verse okay and the next verse here says let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need let me read that again okay let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace so because jesus was was um he walked the earth as flesh and blood, but had no sin and even faced temptation. It says here that we, we, because he's proven that he's righteous, we boldly go uh, to, to, to follow Jesus and God, right? So then they, so then in turn, God can, uh, God can give us mercy and we can find grace especially in the times that we are going through right now. Okay? It's funny how this this particular verse was picked randomly today because of events that happened yesterday, hence me doing a an you know, I would say this this is not really an emergency podcast, but this is a special edition podcast because of events that happened yesterday. And because of events happening yesterday, I feel that things are going to Things are going to change. There's going to be more things coming that may be uh, worse than yesterday or it may not be worse than yesterday. But there definitely is going to be of there's definitely going to be things happening within the next few couple. I would say in the next couple weeks, maybe this whole month. Um, I don't have any any um, I don't have any juice on it, so to say um, I it's just things that I observe every day. I think this is. I think yesterday's events triggered something that we're gonna see some some some. I don't know what kind of events. I don't have intel. I'm not in intel. I don't. I don't work for intel or anything like that. But I'm. I'm just saying this based on my observation that I. You know. Let's face it, this whole, the past four years, we've seen a lot of things change. Last year, too, was a big change in our lives. So, back to the scripture, okay? We need the Lord more than ever now. We really do. I know that a lot of people out there support Trump, um... I do too. I, I like what he's doing. But ultimately, the person who moves the chess pieces here, yes, Trump may be playing a game of chess with what's going on right now. And I'll get into that after this after this um, breakdown of what I think the message is here from God. But I honestly do think that the 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 main the main entity that's moving everything here is God. Okay, and we cannot forget that. We just cannot. Because like and I said this before, God decides what happens to this earth, not POTUS. 
POTUS may be a representative of God. I don't know. He may be. We all don't know that for sure. Okay? We don't know. We don't know what's in POTUS's mind. We don't know. We don't know him. Like, we don't know him personally. Okay? Um, he may be anointed by God. I don't know. I, 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 I can't. Just like everything, every information that comes out there, we all don't know unless we see, unless we actually see things, you know, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, we don't know for sure. But ultimately, we need to come to God at these times. Okay? We all need to be giving praise. We all need to find grace through God. Because ultimately, God decides what happens to this earth and what happens to your life. Okay? So, that's my breakdown of today's random read from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 14 through 16, a great high priest. Now, because this is a morning podcast for me today, there will be no drinks. The bar is open for discussion, yes, but the bar is closed for drinks. I do have, okay, let me, let me <laughs> I do have a cup of coffee, okay, um, I, that's my drink for today, this morning, a cup of coffee. Um, to be more specific, I want to send a shout out to um, Bones Coffee Company. I do have the White Russian here. Um, it's, it's, it's great coffee, you know, the, uh, they don't sponsor me. I just bought this coffee because I thought it was an interesting, uh, flavor to possibly drink. And now I'm drinking, uh, bones, coffee, uh, bones coffee from B the bones coffee company. And the flavor that I'm drinking is, um, white Russian. And it's funny because <laughs> if you've seen the big Lebowski, um, it has a picture of a skull that looks like the big, uh, you know, it look, he looks like, um, um, geez, I'm, I'm losing my mind right now, but he looks like the, the, the main character. It looks like Lebowski. It's in the title, doofus. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, here's to this morning with my cup of uh, white Russian bones coffee. Cheers. Okay, so I don't have any ar any articles up or anything like this. Um, I'm just going to give my take on yesterday's events. I was watching I was watching live uh, everything that was going down in D.C. Man, th first off, the speech laid out by POTUS. Man, that was amazing. That speech was amazing. The support that he got from so many people out there was amazing. Uh, he, sometimes we feel like we're alone as patriots, as people who love this country, who stand for the right thing. Sometimes we feel so alone. But watching that was amazing. To see how many, how many people are like-minded. And I'm hoping that a lot of them are people who follow God and Jesus too, right? Because if, if, if you stand for law and order, if you stand for what's right, then I'm assuming that you probably are also uh, a follower of Christ and God. And um, it was just an amazing uh, sight to see, you know. Um, I wish I was there, but... I had family things I had to deal with yesterday. Um, I do travel back and forth to California and where I live. And unfortunately, I did not spend any Thanksgiving with my family. I did not spend any Christmas with my family. I did not spend any New Year's with my family. And yesterday was my little daughter's birthday. And I said to myself, you know what? I can I, 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 I can skip off of work to stay here with my daughter because it's her day. 
And um, I know that feeling of not having those special days with parents because I grew up, I grew up, um, I grew, I grew up um, um, with in a broken home. Okay. Um, so I, I, I definitely know the feeling of, of, of absence of, uh, parents. Okay. But, um, I said to myself, I'm staying here and I'm going to give my time to my daughter. And that's what we did. We, um, what did we do? So yesterday we hung out, we, uh, we played some chess. Uh, she opened her present, um, and she was so stoked. What did we also played Monopoly. She wanted to play Monopoly. She's a very simplistic person. And I'm so happy for that. Like she doesn't need anything extravagant, which is good. That's a good that's a good quality in a person. When when somebody when somebody can appreciate the the most simple things in life, that tells you a lot about that person. The 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 the, the character of that person is good. Because they they don't have to have anything out of their they're very humble too, okay. People like that are very humble, and that's it. We need more humble people out there. Because these younger kids think that they can do whatever they want, and they want to be praised for every little thing every time. No, that's not the way that we should be. This is strictly my opinion. That's not the way I think we should be raising kids to give them praise for every little thing, especially for things they're supposed to do anyway, right? So I'm blessed. I'm blessed I have a great I have a great family, and I'm so blessed for that. I have a 21-year-old son who's nothing uh nothing like me and when I was 21 years old, and he's a very he's totally opposite. No, I wouldn't say totally opposite because there's still parts of him that are are me. He's a very sarcastic person, so he got he definitely got that from me. But as far as like uh, responsibilities and risk taking, he is definitely nothing like me because I was um, all over the place when I was twenty one, and my priorities were they were different. Okay, this guy actually cares about his education and stuff. I didn't. I cared about. Um, hooking up with the next girl or something like that 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 was just me or you know what club I was going to go that night or stuff like that that was my priorities so I'm glad I'm glad that um that my kids turned out this way so anyways so that's what I did yesterday as much as I wish um I could be there with the Patriots in DC it was probably better for me to stay here anyway even if even if it was not my daughter's birthday um i think i think god has led me to fight this battle um on the microphone as opposed to actually going out there and fighting an actual battle as much as i i i would never turn down a fight if it was brought to me because that's just how i am but if the if if God tells me this is your assignment and this is what you're supposed to do for me, I'm not gonna say, "Oh, screw you, God! I'm gonna do whatever I want." I'm not gonna say that. Okay, <laughs> that that would be really stupid to do. But but He has assigned me to do this battle behind the microphone, and hopefully, I can I can you know get you people to to build that relationship with God. And that's my goal. And I'm talking to you as a normal person, not somebody who thinks he's not 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 somebody who thinks he's better than you or anything like that. Or somebody who's like an educated priest or pastor or anything like that. I'm talking to you as if I am a normal person because I am a normal person. I really am. Uh, I'm no better than anybody out there. I'm just your average person. The only thing that's different here is that. God has given me the, and I'm not trying to brag or anything. God has given me some kind of assignment to do, and I'm just executing it because he told me to do it. Okay. And I'm not talking to you using big words or anything like that. We're just having normal conversations here because, uh, I I don't think I'm any higher than anybody out there. It doesn't matter, but I know that there's a lot of people in positions of power, so to say, quote, 
in quote air quotes who think that they are a lot smarter than me or whatever but I don't care I don't care because you, just because you may be in a position that's higher than me ultimately you're still under God so that doesn't make you any better than me at all anyways back to yesterday so after the speech I was I kept watching it and I was watching on um, I was on Twitch and I was watching via woke societies and also um, Tron Anon uh, these are two guys that I follow on Twitch um, sometimes I feel that they have they give no love to, to Twitch listeners um, they give more love to D live listeners um, but I get it I mean for me I'm, I'm comfortable with using Twitch I don't like D live I like I prefer using Twitch D live is cool I'm not trying to down talk them or anything but for streaming streaming stuff and all that stuff I'm very comfortable I'm not very comfortable I'm more comfortable with Twitch than I am with D live and these platforms are kind of confusing to me because I'm not a tech guy um I, I I try to figure these things out for myself but it's just difficult you know I'm not young my brain doesn't work as fast as it used to and besides the stuff that's stuck in my brain the stuff that I desire to learn is um it's useless information as opposed to useful information that I should be sticking in my brain but I don't know a good example of that is um I can hear a song that I've listened to so many times when I was like 10 and remember the lyrics off the top of my head. But when it comes to like reading scripture or something like that, I have to constantly read and read and read and read and read and then finally understand, oh, okay, I think this is what it, I think this is what it means. So that's a little insight of how my brain works. Anyways. So I was watching the events live on Twitch via these two um, broadcasters and they were giving their, you know, they're giving their breakdown of what's going on and what's what. And all of a sudden, um, first off, the crowd of people, that was so amazing that I can only imagine the energy that was felt over there. And it was a very peaceful gathering. As far as like, and I'm talking not when it not when the capital was breached, but outside of the capital, you can see, you can see the unity of people. You can see the unity of people. You can see people celebrating out there, um, having a good time, good vibes all over the place. I saw so many people smiling dancing, just having a great time being together, enjoying each other's company, which is the way it should be, right? We all should be like that towards each other. But unfortunately, we're not all like that. Okay. And all of a sudden, you get this group of people who disguise themselves as Trump supporters. And let's face it, they were disguised as Trump supporters. These guys are the freaking party poopers. They come into, they, they crash the party. That's pretty much what they did. They crashed the party. So this group of people, and I, I, I can't confirm this, but what I've been hearing is that they've, they're part of Antifa. And it doesn't surprise me because that's how they are. I don't understand. I don't understand why you have a group of people who want to pull down humanity as opposed to push up humanity. And it's weird because these people are so negative, but yet when they talk, they talk about spreading love and all that stuff. I mean, how how nonsensical is that? Right? If you love humanity so much, why the hell would you pull it down? It doesn't make any sense. You want people to be in the same misery as you? Oh, I guess misery does love company, right? But I'll tell you what. Uh, positivity loves company as well. 
And what from what I saw there at the rally, because that's what it was. It was a Patriots Day rally. There was so much positivity. Well, this group, this small group of people decided that they were going to breach inside Capitol Hill. Right? And disrupt what was going on. And um, that's what they did. Unfortunately, good people got sucked into it too. Because I was, like I said, I was watching it on Tron Anon's... um, live feed and you know one of the guys who's part of that channel he, he got sucked in bunch of good people got sucked into going inside there they did but the vast majority of people the peaceful like the vast majority of patriots knew not to do that which it amazed me because because with that amount of people the capital should have been destroyed but it wasn't because because of the patriots doing the right thing and that's what that's what we all are about is is the right thing right law and order it's always these antifa thugs who who always destroy things we create things as they destroy things it's very unfortunate and I don't, I don't, I don't, they, they don't, it's funny. They don't see it for themselves that they destroy things. You know, they're, they've been, they're brainwashed. They're lost. And, uh, the tell signs for these things were, there were a couple of the people with, um, with tattoos on them that were very synonymous with, with, um, pedophilia and also with communism. So... Although the plan was smart, they did not. Ha- they didn't have smart people in the plan. If that makes any sense, because honestly, those Antifa people—they think they're smart, but they—they're idiots. They're dumb. They're dumb. And yes, I, I'm gonna judge them because they're dumb. They're dumb. They want to destroy stuff. They they want to destroy as p- people like us, average people, average Americans like us, the middle class. We build things, and we want to build. Not only do we build things for us, but we build also for a legacy, and also something to pass down to our children. That's what we do. That's what America is all about, right? The pursuit of happiness. It's not guaranteed. But what's guaranteed is our freedom to pursue it. And I don't understand why these. Why these people. Why these thugs. I know they're just puppets. I know. But. I really don't understand the thinking behind destroying. As opposed to building and picking up. So it was unfortunate that there was one person who got killed. And my my uh, thinking on that is um she probably got sucked in too. And nobody's at fault here. Because that's how that's how emotions get stirred up. When emotions get stirred up, it's easy for us to get sucked into things that without even taking a step back to think clearly. We're all different. Some people have that ability to st- like stop and think about it, but some people just don't. And it's, you know, there's there's no wrong or right about it. Right? There's no there's nothing about being smart or dumb about it. And I I it it hurts me to see a lot of people saying that she she played a stupid game, she won a stupid pr- You know what? She got sucked in. And don't don't be judging every, you know, don't judge because we've all been sucked into t- into something that we didn't want to get into and and regretted it later on. We've all been through it before. And we shouldn't be we shouldn't be chipping away at this this girl. You know? And she, my understanding was she was in the military too. And it doesn't matter what what your stature is in society. At one point of your life, you've got sucked into t- into something stupid. Okay? It happens to everybody. 
in my line of work, I, I, I bump into normies. I bump into normal people every day, right? Normal people who make mistakes, who think it's the end of the world. When I explain to them, hey, dude, you made a mistake. You just, all you got to do is fix this and get on with your life. It's not the end of the world. It's okay to make mistakes, people. And I don't understand this thinking of you got to be perfect all the way through. That's dumb. How do you learn? My prayers, I will pray. Okay. I'm not going to say my prayers and thoughts to the family of the girl who, uh, who died and to the girl. Who, I'm going to say that I will pray. It was an unfortunate thing. And I hate, I hate to see good people lose their life for something that could have been avoided. But we all get sucked into something that we, we don't understand at the moment. We all do. Just like yesterday when I was watching this whole thing. I got sucked into thinking that, damn, okay, well, I guess this is what needed to happen. In a way, I was wrong. In a way, I was right. And I'm going to elaborate on that. It's unfortunate that that it happened that way. But what do you expect when you have a bunch of infiltrators uh, who are not patriots who want to make the patriots look bad? So I woke up this morning and I decided, you know what? Um, I stopped watching this stuff yesterday, like midday. Like around four o'clock, I stopped watching it, right? Three, around three, four o'clock central time. And I was done with it. So this morning I wake up, you know, and I was just curious just to see if there was any updates of what's going on. And now I'm hearing that there are lockdown orders in D.C. and surrounding areas, which I can understand that. Given what happened yesterday at the Capitol, I haven't I haven't watched anything that was going on uh, in the city of D.C. But it seems to me that there's lockdowns and there's probably Antifa people. I don't know. Okay, they're they're probably out there destroying stuff. And from what I've heard, okay, and these are not confirmed. Um, I've heard that there were, you know, layers of bricks and and propane tanks and two by fours out there, um, suspiciously just being just being left out out there. But I ended up listening. Okay, so I took my dog out for a walk this morning, and I was listening to X twenty two report. Dave from X twenty two report. Shout out to him. Okay, because I used to listen to him every, like a lot, but from the election, I started getting tired of hearing what's going on. And just like everybody else, you know, there's only some, there's only so much you can take of this, uh, of this mentally. So I took a break off of the whole political, following the political stuff. And, you know, coworkers would always hit me up about this information coming out, that information coming out. Did you see this? Did you see that? And I would say, uh, I haven't been following only because I, you know, I need a mental break off of it. And there's, there's nothing wrong with taking a mental break off of politics. Paul, I, I, as much as I hate politics, I love politics. It's my sports. I don't know anything about sports, but politics, shoot, man. Uh, I know a lot more than I do sports. I'm not going to say I know everything because I don't. But I was listening to X-22 Dave, Dave's report on the political part of it, okay? And the way he elaborated things that were happening, it started to click with me. It started to, you know, it started clicking like, okay, I understand now. 
he pretty much said that this the events yesterday needed to happen only because if we're going to drain the swamp people you need to understand something and this totally blew my mind because you know as much as we like to say that Trump is a genius and he's you know he's a very smart man i've come to the conclusion that Trump is in a very different mindset than all of us are He's in a very different mindset. His intellect is very different from us. He may sound like an average dude when he talks to us, um, you know, because he's good at communicating with, um, he's, he's good at putting himself at the same level as us normal people. He's very good at that. But the side of him that, that we don't see is amazing. This man is amazing. I mean, you guys probably think that already, but you know, the way that Dave was explaining it on X22 report about how all these chess chess moves needed to happen, and this was this is this is a chess game. I mean, POTUS is not chess master for 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 you know he he's ch- he's chess master for a reason right but man this guy has moves he has moves and this man can he this dude is bold like he is so good at putting his enemies right next to him he is so good at that So honestly, he is on a different mindset than we all are. And I honestly don't think that we're ever going to see another, at least in my lifetime, I don't think I'll ever see another man like this in my life. This man is on another, he is on, he is questionable. Is he even human? (laughs) Right? Because intellect like that does not come from, I don't know. I don't think it does. I mean, we've had geniuses before, but do they have that patience of having your your enemy like right next to you? Keeping your enemy so close to you that like so like that close. But it was it was awesome to see it just after listening to what Dave had to say and I'm glad that I I it's not an accident that I listened to Dave this morning. It, it, there was no accident there. I think God said, hey, dude, you need to listen to this to make me understand what's going on right now. But after Dave elaborated that, then it started to make sense to me. It started to make sense that all these events needed to happen to see who the true enemies of the country were and there were a little hints back then i remember uh and i know i'm not the only one who saw this video online with uh during bush senior's uh funeral where certain people got um notes in in their um they they got notes they got notices i don't know what they were nobody can f- confirm like nobody can confirm what they were right Pence's wife got one. She was one of the recipients of these things. So there was a little hint back then about who, who we shouldn't trust. And there were people out there giving benefit of the doubt to 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 you know Pence. And um, I guess everything was proven yesterday. So now we know who are who the true enemies are. Like what uh, Silvio in um, the Soprano said. We have yet. What was that saying? We have yet to see who our true enemy is. But um, yeah, I feel really I I you know today after hearing. Um, Dave's report 
oh man, I, 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 I trust, I trust POTUS will do a very good job, um, fixing things. This man is like, I mean, there's, there's, I don't think there's any point for me to listen to anybody else for now. I mean, they're just giving their whole two cents about what's going on or trying to decode certain things. I think, I think from now on, just trusting what POTUS does is 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 going to be good but honestly at the same time like i said in the beginning all all we all have to ultimately give praise and glory to god because he's the one um calling the shots now is potus a man of god like you know is he truly a man of god was he actually anointed i don't know time will reveal you know Time will will reveal that. He may say things. We all say things, but sometimes we, you know, there's no meaning to things that we say sometimes. I try to be a person to say things that I mean, but just like you, I'm human. So, enough of my ranting. I just thought I'd hop on here just for a little bit and just to let people know out there if they're freaking out about what happened yesterday that um, we all shouldn't worry. And I've heard this before from um, from uh, another uh, patriotic broadcaster, Tori from Tori says shout out to her. Awesome broadcaster. I, I really like her. She's a firecracker. I love her. And she she knows a lot of stuff too, but she always she always stressed out in her podcast that or her show that we should always trust POTUS. And you know what? I'll be damned. I'm always gonna trust what POTUS is doing for us. Not completely, because I don't know what the true plan is here. Okay. Only time will reveal everything. But so far, so far that what I'm seeing, it's looking good. It's looking like it's, uh, he's in God's team. That's what it appears to be. That what That's what it appears to look like to me. Okay. It looks like he's in God's team. So I hope and I pray that he continues to make the right decisions. Some of the some of his decisions are very dangerous, but man, let's I, oh, I got to be real about it. It's 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 exciting. It's very exciting. It's like we are watching a movie and I know I know Q, Q QAnon or Q whoever these people are or who this person is. They always said he she or they whatever they are it is always stated that enjoy the show go get your popcorn right because this is what it is this is a soap opera it's a movie this is an exciting time of history being made right now I'm glad to be alive and kind of part of it as I'm behind the mic trying to uh you know, spread patriotism and um, spread God's word and hopefully trying to get people to um, build that relationship with God because that's the ultimate, for me, that's the ultimate is trying to lead you to God. That's always going to be my ultimate goal. But also, you know, keeping the positive vibes with um, picking each other up as well and encouraging you to build your own Build your own platform too if you have something to say. Now is a great time. Mainstream media is fallen. This is a great time to be a truth teller. Or even give out your ideas out there. This is a great time. Financially it's hard. I I haven't earned a penny for doing this. But the weird thing about it is, is that I'm not too worried about earning the penny as much as I should be because I want to do this full time. Um, God told me to do this. 
So I put all my trust in God and I know that he'll turn things around if I keep doing this because this is what this is what is assigned to me. So I'm not worried about, you know, the financial part of it. This is all coming from my heart. This is all coming, you know, this is all passion right here, this talk. So enough ranting from me. And I hope that I may that the message that I kind of conveyed here would would make you feel a little bit at ease, especially after what happened yesterday. Um, this is a this is a game of chess, people. Do not worry about what's going on. And when you're in a situation where you may get sucked into doing something, stop for a moment, okay? Stop for a moment because sometimes things may not be what they seem. Be very cautious, okay? The particip- the participation is great, but sometimes not participating is also good. It's a, Sometimes it's a smarter thing to do. So, you know, if you, if you ever go out to rallies and all that stuff, just be very, very careful about the things you do, okay? Just be very careful about the people who are around you. Be very cognizant about your surroundings and who's around you. Be very cognizant of that because these Antifa a-holes, they're good at deception. And you got to remember that the devil is very good at deception. And these are the devil's minions. They are the devil's minions. If you ever seen a lot of these Antifa people's booking photos, do they look like they're godlike? No, they look like demons. Be very cognizant. Be aware. Don't act straight from emotion. You you need to stop and think. You need to think logically. Because that's what we are as patriots, right? We're free thinkers. Thinkers. That's that both words are very key. Free thinkers. We think freely, not emotionally. So, as I close off every show that I do, first off, God bless you guys. I was so happy to see all the Patriots out there. And as I close out with the show, with that being said, the bar is now closed. It's more than a passing notion I've never fallen with such devotion I can't help but wonder If it's only a dream Am I naive or can believe that things are really as they seem Can anyone explain it How to understand what's true I know I just Whenever I'm with you I can't help but wonder If you wonder about me Cause lately I can't help but How wonderful this might be
Can anyone explain it? How to understand what's true? I know I just can't take it whenever I. Cause lately I can't help but wonder how wonderful this might be. Cause lately I can't help but wonder how wonderful this might. Peace.